Hey everyone, welcome in tonight. It's Tuesday. Golly, my hair looks ridiculous. Sorry about that. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I've had a, a long few days, unfortunately, and um, I, I, I there's there's a lot there's a lot that happened, and I can't unfortunately talk too much about it, um, but. I'm here. I'm good. Things are on track. Um, we're still moving next week. Everything's still fine and all that. Um, but yeah, still on track for the house, still on track for, um, um, you know, episode coming out tomorrow and you know, everything. So we're all good to go. I don't want to dwell too much on anything. We're, we're just going to get into it and I'm, I'm ready to have a drink. So I, um, as you guys know, um, by the way, can y'all hear me? Okay. I'm using a different mic tonight than I have been before. So if it's no bueno, if it needs to be a little bit louder, um, let me know. I can adjust it. Um, but anything, uh, no, I did not get arrested. <laughs> no, it, it, you know, it's not as it's not as bad as it I'm making it out to be, but there was just a, a lot of crap that I had to deal with over the past few days. And I mean, it's all good. You know, I'm, I'm here. That's what matters. Mike's fine. Hair still sounds good. Hair still sounds good. Great. I did have a bottle of stag. Um, I, I did a, uh, an uncorking, which I actually don't know when that's going to be coming out. Um, I did that with Chad and Sarah. Uh, of its bourbon night, of course, we uncorked the uh, stag from 2018 and the William Larue, William Larue Weller, as well. It's pretty great, y'all. It's pretty great. I'll drink those on the stream or on the show sometime soon. And I'm gonna be recording tomorrow night a, um, a bonus episode for Patreon, of course, where we kind of go through some of the things that I haven't had a chance to try yet and whittle down a little bit more some of my best of 2018 so patreon 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 patrons on patreon are going to be getting that probably in the next week or so and there's still the potential too that we'll be uh live streaming that recording session as well tomorrow night so just stay tuned for it um and everything uh episode tomorrow is going to be featuring mike who is the bar manager <clears throat> excuse me at angels envy so lots of um, good stuff there. Uh, you're really gonna enjoy it. It was a good little conversation. It's a little bit shorter than normal though. Um, so I'll probably wind up putting out a bonus episode just kind of in general this week too that I've had for a bit and haven't really gotten around to taking care of. Um, but anyway, let's let's just get to let's just get to the drinking portion of, of all of this as well. I'm going to move the mic around a little bit because so you can see my uh, my beautiful lamp from the distillery here. Um, of course, they are the first first sponsors of the show and all that good stuff. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> I, kids like the Angels Envy Tour. Good. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I've been on the Angels Envy Tour. That was the first time that I got to try the Angels Envy Rye. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joseph. Hey, Joseph, I just also want to say thank you so much for your um, incredible, incredible uh, graciousness and the gift that you sent me. I've been meaning to say that to you privately, but, you know, haven't had the chance. And so here publicly, I'm going to say thank you. So cheers to that. Well, I, uh, Joseph sent me a, a bottle of Woodenville, <clears throat> excuse me, Woodenville bourbon that I had, I'd never had before. It was uh, aged with apples. It's kind of apple staves. I can't remember for sure. Um, but it's very good. I opened it with Chad and Sarah actually the other night. So yeah. Mm. So tonight sub a hundred proof bourbons, cause I want to do something different and you know, I don't do, you know, themes necessarily like this too often, but I, you know, want to do this. So I'm starting out with the Jim Beam repeal batch. This honestly 
has not opened up as well as I thought it would. I liked it a whole lot better when I first tried it. That being said, it's still good. It's still a very good product, especially at 86 proof. But, I don't know. Um, I definitely like it better than Jim Beam White. I'll say that much. It has a lot more body to it. It's not chill filtered, too. Um, but, hey, mashing drums here. How are you, my friend, Jason? Um, oh, Monica, that's a shame that you have to hang out with us for a little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, tanked with toasted applewood stays. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. I enjoy it. I really did. Um, I accidentally left it at Chad's uh, Chad and Sarah's house, though, unfortunately. But um, also, I want to say uh, I said this last week. I think, or no, I didn't get to say it last week. This didn't happen until last week's um, live stream recording. Uh, Swan, the bourbon finder, who is in here, is actually going to be the moderator uh, from here on out. I asked him. And he very kindly obliged. So everybody be nice to Swan. He is a wonderful person who takes good care of me. And the dog's playing downstairs. Sorry. Anyway, Sarah might drink it all. If you, yeah. Especially if she's uh, Sarah with an H. Yes, exactly, Adam. So it, this, again, is really interesting because... So much of the, the caramel is present on it. It has some oakiness, but nothing really too prominent. And honestly, like, that's about it. There's some kind of cloviness to it, too. And maybe a little bit of, like, orange peel. But overall, it's just, it's it's falling a little flat for me, which is really weird because, I mean, I remembered just loving it when I first, when I first opened. <laughs> Marie's being ridiculous. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it, I'm, 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 I'm just not as, uh, as impressed by this as I, I remember being. Um, I know Chad and Sarah had this on their live stream this week too. I haven't actually had a chance to, um, to watch that, but oh well. So what do you guys want to talk about tonight? Um, <laughs> there will be one topic that will be off limits, but if that gets brought up, but I don't know if it will. Um, but I, I let's let's just talk. Let's have a good night. Let's just chat around um, a little bit. Um, MSRP for Booker's thirtieth. That's going to be a hundred and ninety nine. Whew. Jim Beam has a lot of fifteen to twenty dollars stuff. How does repeal compare? I would honestly prefer to pay a little bit more money and grab say um you know the uh shoot distiller's cut or grab um like the bottled and bond even maybe not black or devil's cut but um i'll even stocking up on age stated seven year gem beam bottles look at you look at you is it really that bad y'all i'm sorry guys What's wrong with the... Tell me what's wrong with the stream. Maybe I can try to fix something up here. Um, yeah, just let me know what's what's going on, and I can at least try to... Jason says it's okay. Just weird static. It's probably... Um, maybe it's the mic, which just weirds out occasionally. Okay. Very strange. <laughs> Camera's been drinking. Yeah, probably. Um, but okay. Done weird stuff, but all right. Well, hopefully it'll, oh, I think I found the. Why is it doing that? Okay, sorry. I'm I'm watching the mic and it's just it's being very strange. I'm sorry. Maybe that's it. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just it's it's been a long Oh gosh. 
<sighs> Sorry, Dustin. <laughs> Not enough proof to power the video. All right, let's move up to a 90 then. We need more power. Um. Well, let's jump distilleries then. Let's go to... Hello, Dilly. Let's go to the Heaven Hill six-year green label. Um, dilly dilly. <laughs> tired. Oh, I'm very tired. Ugh. For whatever reason, the Heaven Hill um, bottles are notoriously hard to... Um... <laughs> you guys are killing me. Um, the, for whatever reason, the Heaven Hill bottles are notoriously difficult to, to open. Um, but... <laughs> you're like killing me. I think this is a really good uh, replacement for Heaven Hill Six Year Bottle and Bond. Um, you know, it it's not perfect, but it is good. It's basically the same thing, just ten points slower. Uh, but you know, I I would <laughs> okay <laughs> by Monica. Um. But anyway, I it just, you know, nothing's ever going to compare to it, I don't think. But it is what it is. We'll live on. Um. <laughs> yeah, Swan, what are we going to what are you going to lose to me this week? OK, so what are we what are we doing now? Are we are we betting that it's going to get up to 40 followers, 45 or excuse me, 40 viewers, 45 viewers? You know, what are we going to do here? Let's let's uh, lose Swan another another bottle. <laughs> oh gosh, an Elijah Craig barrel proof. I'm actually pretty set on those right now, Adam. Um, <laughs> looks like an altar for Heaven Hill budget bourbons. Nice. Mm. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be a real good one, Louis. Yeah, if you haven't actually subscribed to the channel yet, you should definitely do that. Um. Yeah, uh, it, once we get to 250, I'm going to do um, another um, another giveaway, which I know I haven't done the 100 subscriber one just yet, but that's just because I've been busy with the move and with, you know, trying to do everything. But it it will it will happen sooner rather than later. I'm sh I promise you. I promise you. Um, King of Turkey. Oh, man, please. I would love that. Real t real King of Kentucky. Um, uh, yes, also, please upvote the video. Um, did I get to count her in spirit? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, how's the move going? Any less stress? Not really any less stress. <laughs> Probably more stress. <laughs> Honest, honestly, but it's okay. I mean, it, it could be much worse. Uh, we, we close a week from tomorrow. So, you know, once that happens, the, the moving is getting, um, it, it's going to help. It's going to get crazy. So, yeah. Hey, thanks for hitting the like button, everybody, and for subscribing if you're doing that right now too. I, I appreciate that. Um. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Thanks, Swan. Thank you for for that. That'll be lots of fun. Only if it's the cherry smoked barley. <laughs> oh, I hate that bottle so much. It's the worst. Um, <laughs> everybody's going like, please don't do that. I think the only one that Swan has is the the cherry smoked barley, but um... <laughs> yeah, Louis, it. I am. I am real tired of of signing stuff, and and yes, my dad is here. Hi, Dad. I, I'm getting real worn out with it, but you know, it's okay. We're ready to move. We're ready to be there. It's about time. So. Oh man, just can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Or the white corn. That's right. Oh, <laughs> Jason, that's awesome. Oh man, yeah, a great bo bottle of mellow corn. You know, I've actually never had um, mellow corn before. I know, I, I know, it's ridiculous, but. Um, I should probably, I should probably try it at some point. Hey dad, what you drinking right now, buddy? 
Anyway, uh, yeah, this is really good, man. This, you know, at, at 90 proof, it's hard to go wrong. And at the, um, you bet he stole my E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Um, no, that did not happen. That is within reach. Monica would be proud. Um, yeah, it's right there. Swan, were you saying 130 subscribers or 130 um, a month on Patreon? Because that would be cool. I mean, either either way. Either way is fine. Um, you going with the Weller Special Reserve there? Okay, well, I got a little bit I'm going to have here, too, in, in just a bit. Which bottle are you drinking out of? Um, but the barrel proof tastes just like regular Woodford when you add water. Well, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Hi, Mr. Bill. Don't let Mr. Hands be mean to you. Um, if you win Chad and Sarah's Justin's tasting, you'll have to ask Lucy for a guy's night out and go with me. Oh my gosh, Brian. That's right. Sarah did tell me about that. Thank you so much for that. I, I really do mean that. I hope you win so that I can come and hang out with you guys too. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I did almost throw... Um, I, I did almost throw some uh, of the Weller 12 in, but I figured I'd less expensive. I don't know. I just was like, oh, I've already I've already made my bed. May as well lay in it. So, yeah. So, you're taking Marie. You're taking my dog. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. <laughs> Is that what you meant, or did you mean something? I don't know who you're, if you're. Is your wife's name Marie? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Hey, this is freaking awesome. I, I really do like this bottle a lot. And, you know, $12, $13. Can't go wrong with it. You know, and I, I think it's interesting that, you know, we kind of fall into that pit, too, of like, oh, we have to... Bourbon has to be... 100 proof or above to to really enjoy it and i just don't entirely think that's true 100 percent of the time um but yeah I, I figured it out there joseph um <laughs> yeah dad heaven hill six year green label it's not the bottled and bond i don't even have one on my table right now that's odd <sighs> there's some interesting like smoky notes to it too not like um, necessarily scotch smoky, but still kind of, um, you know, woody, earthy smell to it. It's very good. It's very good. I know that I'm being super descriptive tonight, but I'm tired. So anyway, as I was saying earlier, let's, let's chat. Let's uh, talk about some things. You know, what, what questions do you have for me tonight? I'd love to, I'd love to conversate, please. You see a Fender Acoustic. It is not new. Um, this is that little travel guitar that I have. It's nothing, nothing special, but it is a... It's nothing special. Um, it's kind of quiet, but it is what it is. Um... Do you guys find it hard to drink sub hundred proofers after you've begun with high proofers? Yeah, I can't. I can't go the opposite way, um, because I, I I can't taste it if I start like above a hundred proof and go down to like ninety or eighty six. I mean, you know, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but um, you know, I I don't. You bring a nice acoustic if you ever make it down. Absolutely, dude. We'll play. Please do that. That'd be great. Maybe for the um, for the meetup. But anyway, yeah, I don't like going the opposite way. I, I only kind of really like going up in terms of proof. Um, do I like 1792 full proof? Yeah, it's good. It's really good stuff. I think I gave it a pretty good review on the show too, honestly. Um, from what I can remember, it's it's really good, especially you know for the for the price point. I haven't had it in a while. Um, but it's awesome. Is dad leaving? Oh, all right, dad. Love you too, buddy. Take it easy. Eric's almost home. So he's going to watch with us soon. Um, I, Jason, I love parlor guitars. 
I think that they're fantastic little things. Actually, my main acoustic is a parlor, and it, it's one of the, the Fender parlors. Um, it's like the CP100 or something like that. No, that's not right. I don't remember. It's Sunburst. It's real pretty. That, that's what I recorded the theme song for the show on, actually, as well, um, and my album. Um, little Book. I had the first little book and I thought it was really good. I haven't had the second one and I've heard mixed reviews about the second one. So I'm, you know, I, I'm of course interested to try any and everything. I just don't know, you know, I'm not going to put the money down for it uh, with, with the mixed to negative reviews that I've been seeing. That's just me. You know, I know that there are plenty of people who like it and, and everything. Um, Oh, okay, Christian. Well, I definitely want to check that out. Um, switching it up to Booker's Front Porch Batch. Very nice. Uh, I still have Perry's album on my phone. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. I had, <laughs> I just opened the can of worms, didn't I? Um, PerryRitter.bandcamp.com is where you can find my music. There's some old stuff in there that's not very good. There's some newer stuff that's pretty awesome. I'm in the process of uh, finishing up writing for the next album. And for... Um, actually, you can find it on uh, iTunes and maybe Spotify, too. I can't remember for sure. Um, <clears throat> but how many pints of blood does everybody have to sell a month to support the bourbon habit? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I... Um, I had I uh, put this album out in like 2014 and just haven't had a chance to really, you know, get everything perfect to the point where I said, yes, I'm ready to, re to record again and have had a whole bunch of um, scheduling issues to not just, you know, with musicians, but mostly on my end. Um, and especially once I, yes, I do sing as well. Um, and if you want to hear really bad singing, go and listen to my early stuff because that was not very good. I'm I'm not the best singer, but I am I've definitely improved. And the the new stuff you will notice a marked improvement to once it actually comes out. But <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about this right now. <laughs> I haven't really talked about my music very much recently. But anyway, yeah. Um Oh, thanks, Louie. I that I really enjoyed doing that Christmas stuff. That was fun. Um, yes, Christian, I could absolutely use you. That'd be great. Uh, Brandon asked, are any of the older Booker's batches good? Uh, 2015 to 2016. Yeah, um, Booker's Bluegrass is really good. I, I found that one recently, actually. Really enjoyed that. Um, don't drink after donating. It, it hits a lot harder. <laughs> Yeah, I would not. I would not do that. Um, whenever I sound, I sing. I sound like an angry Billy Idol. Billy Idol already sounds angry, so that's pretty impressive. Well, Big Feet, since you said that you're drinking some Weller Special Reserve, I may as well join you, my friend. And uh, yeah, which glass do I go with? I'll go with this glass. Um, yeah. Oh, your dad's coming back. <laughs> um, did I get my lead on the front porch batch? Um, so somebody who somebody messaged me about that. I can't remember. I think I think so, but I was unfortunately like I had, didn't ever get back to them, which sucks, and I feel really bad about. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joseph, dad's really a box wine guy. It's not true. It's not true at all. <laughs> I have to chill filter your blood donations. That's hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> hey there. Hey. 